In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this tutorial in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've taken one strawberry image and cut into three different pieces and I've given a kind of a 3D look to it. And then you can add any text here. I've just put the about strawberry and some uh, facts about strawberry. So depending on the requirement, you can just choose any shape or any fruit and cut this into pieces and give the same format. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Use any picture image of the fruit. I have used the strawberry for this demo and make sure that this is the PNG file without any a background or it should be a transparent background then i'm going to cut this into three pieces for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle and put it on the top section here and make sure that it should be always outside of this one the size should be bigger than the strawberry shape outline make it no outline and duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and move it down then select the strawberry hold the shift key and select both these rectangles go to the shape format merge shapes and fragment once you fragment this one you can see here this part it's come out i'm just going to delete this and you can see here i've got three strawberry sections now or the pieces all right to make a 3d look I'm going to give a shape and select the oval shape here. Draw the oval shape. Again, shape outline, make it no outline. And the color, you can use shape fill. Use the eyedropper and choose any dark color here. You can see, just click it. Let me just zoom in and align it properly. You can see here. Spend some time but align it okay you can see this is done again the left side should be a little bit yes all right then duplicate this by pressing ctrl d move to the other side you can just reduce the height and then again press ctrl d move it down only the the last section You can see here i have made this particular looks like kind of a 3d effect and then in the center you can go and insert one dark circle here again shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to fill this with black then right mouse click go to the format shape here under the effects select the soft edges and increase the soft edges here all right let me just zoom in and then i'm going to put it exactly in the center press ctrl d move this down press ctrl d and bring it here all right so once this is done i'm going to select the top three photos or the images the these three you can see here and press ctrl g to group it do the same thing for second one press ctrl g and third one press ctrl g so in this case you can see here i have got three different pieces of strawberry i'm just going to tilt a little bit you can see here a little bit tilt here and the other side i'm going to tilt and this one also a little bit here all right so once this is done i can select all and press ctrl g to group it and move this here and then i'm going to give a background for this one so i can just choose any light color background in this case i've used this color from the strawberry itself once this is done go to the insert shapes select a rounded rectangle or a rectangle depending on the requirement so i'm just going to select a rounded corner rectangle 
shape outline make sure it's no outline and shape fill i'm going to select white color and then send this to back so we end up getting a shape which looks something like this again if you want the strawberry to be reduced hold the shift key and just reduce the strawberry size all right so it looks something like this and again if you want you can just ungroup this group and ungroup so now we have done the basic thing so it's now time to add some effects or some text if you want to add some glossy effect go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw a big oval shape outline make sure it's no outline and it is white color and then again go to the effects increase the soft edges then send this to back you can see here and let me just move this attire yeah press ctrl d to duplicate and bring it down reduce the size and send this to back all right so you can see here i can just adjust it so once this is done you can go and type for example strawberry i'm going to use the font which is oswald or any other font of your choice you can choose and the color i'm going to choose the same dark color here or you can use the white color and then you can change the background itself all right so let me just move it a little bit here go to the insert shapes select the rounded rectangle draw a rounded rectangle here no outline and the same dark color for this change the color to white and bring to front increase the size you can see here strawberry and then you can just write any benefits or anything about the strawberry so i'm just going to use some this text and you can just choose any color you want you can see here increase the size increase the size you can see here and that's it once this is done if you like to do some basic animation you can do that as well so select these shapes the strawberry even i think this is ungroup i have to do i believe yeah this one this one and this one there's some shapes which has come i don't know because of the fragment so we just need to delete those shapes yeah so now i'm going to select this go to the animations enable the animation pane and i'm going to give a fly in so you can see here fly in if you want from the top you can just change it to top and right mouse click effect options you can increase the bounce and as well so it comes something like this and once this is done select this shape and this also i'm going to make it more entrance effects and select the stretch click stretch and effect make it from right and that should happen after previous and then you can just select both of these you can group it and then the text also you can do some basic animation like fly in or wipe or whatever for example if i'm selecting wipe and i'm going to bring it from top and that should happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this and for the other shades also the one which is the highlight with white that also you can give some animation effect kind of fade or something so you can see here we have done the animation and again if you want to change some uh, background or add some more elements to it i'm just going to uh, paste the strawberry all right let me just reduce the size i'm going to put this strawberry one here if you want you can just tilt a little bit and you can go to the picture format 
artistic effect and you can make this as somewhat blur as well here so i'm just going to keep this one here press ctrl d and i'm going to tilt the other side i'm going to keep it here send this to back you can see here and again if you want you can reduce the size of this and you can add one more strawberry which is big and again make sure this also send this to back so like this when you click it comes something like this you can see here 